the yak. Mm. It's the yak. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Big cat's out today, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it ourselves. Hell yeah. Just us guys, and instead of Big Cat, we got we got Assassin. So you just gotta carry the carry the load, and we'll be good to go. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you feel good about that? Yeah. Go, Sass Cat. Hell Sass yes, cat. Sass Cat. Little Assassin Company. Brandon Walker in this bitch. Hey. Nick Two Rainey in this bitch. Owen Rio in this bitch. KV No Swag in this bitch. Uh-huh. Right before we went live, uh, Roan made a joke that he was on Omegle, and Owen just <laughs> – Owen has the funniest deadpan. He's been practicing it for <laughs> 22 years. Getting good at it. Uh, and he just said, Owen, what, what did you see on Omegle? Uh, I saw a person hanging. <laughs> 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 like hanging out? Like hanging with his uh, friends? or? Uh, <laughs> so did you, did you no, look at it for a little bit? Noose. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. You can't hang from it. The noose had to have been tied to something. I didn't realize he meant that. Yeah. What did you say, Keith? Hanging dog. That was like a euphemism I for think the uh, five pluser. The context of the conversation is pretty important. It was more like Rome was. Li- uh, Owen was like, "What are you live on?" And Rome was like, "Omega," and Owen just goes, "Oh, I saw a person hanging on Omega one time." <laughs> Bright and cheery, almost. <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't affect you. I almost. saw someone hanging on there. But KB thought that you meant you meant a, a person whose dick had hang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's no, it's it Omega. Wasn't. That's what they do. I didn't expect that. Well, it's probably just repurposed live leak footage of. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't have been live. Why? Unless it was. <laughs> I think 90% <laughs> that was the, could the have been. quality of the footage. Ninety percent of the time you go on Omega, it's just dudes jerking off. Yes. You, you so only all you can see is their dick. For that's real? A hanging yeah. would be like a rare, How pleasant often? surprise. Yeah, this guy it'll be, it'll isn't be like, oh, horny. <laughs> like <laughs> your, your first thought would be like, great, and then you'd real you'd see the subject matter of uh, of course. Mm-hmm. Also, 90% of the time means that you went on Omegle 10 times at least and kept on seeing dudes jerking off and kept yeah. on going so back. So after 8 for 8 or <laughs> yeah. even yeah. 7 for 8, you, you, I've didn't definitely been on remain, you did two more trials. <laughs> I've definitely yeah. been yeah. on Omegle pulls. well over 10 times. For real? When and I was you saw younger, people jerking off that many times? Mm-hmm. Have you been on Omegle? Every it's all time people I, I was well, just I was on, on chat, chat, the chat, chat roulette. I was chat roulette. Every other person is jerking off on Omegle. I don't think it. I, I thought that any more that there was like. For more. I think people now are like, like, let me freestyle for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like Harry Mack on there. Maybe like <laughs> one in ten, but then the rest of them are jerking off. Usually though, they're like far enough away from the computer screen, so they're never the ones skipping. So how many jerk off <laughs> to jerk off <laughs> conversations do you think are like act ha- are happening at a, a given point in time? You have to like mm-hmm. run all the way up to the screen to. Probably the same noise that a guy who gets walked in on shitting. You're jerking off and you're like mad at the other guy. Just like fuck this dude. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I'm trying to shock somebody. It's not shocking to see someone jerking off when you're jerking off. What the sicko doing? This dude's watching. Dude's jerking off and me jerking off. Oh, buddy! Look at buddy! What the fuck is this? I get off to people. Being disgusted at myself. <laughs> this fairy boy got his dick and balls <laughs> out. He's got his dick and balls he out watching me stroke my fucking cock. The fuck? They were often Turkish. I remember that. Always Turkish. Turkish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Omegle might be a Turkish word. Is it, o- is it Omegle? I don't know. Omegle? I think it's Omegle. <laughs> you tell me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Rao, uh, let's call the show because that's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> <sighs> Well, you keep on saying Omegle. I've never heard anyone <laughs> yeah. say that in my life. Keep fucking doing that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just mispronouncing my my. Uh, it's not a it's not a gay porn site, mm. but just only dudes jerk off on it. Yeah. But it's but not a gay porn site. How would the uh, rarely do you see uh, women jerking off on that website? But from time to time, <laughs> how would the hanging guy have, have moved things along on his site on his thing? You his computer would just have to die. But yeah. if he had it plugged in, <laughs> 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 he's still on there. Let people say he's still on there today. Yeah, yeah. he's dead, but his computer is. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he persists. Um, Brandon, do you want to g- talk about Little Nas X, or should we not? Yeah. You did try <laughs> to get the shoes. I don't. I don't want to talk about that. I have a beef with two guys in here. Um, maybe three. Actually, three. It's the Anus Podcast. I happened upon <laughs> one of your brainstorming boards today. Um, I assume it's yours. You're the only one that actually brainstormed on a whiteboard, and there was weird head rankings. No, not us. <laughs> that's no. got to be you. Not us. That's How is it not you? Everything else on the board was anus. out and Everything about. else was <laughs> us, but it's not us. We didn't do weird head rankings. No. You absolutely. There's Why weird would head we rankings. need to rank them? No, KB I was number four. Val is up there. That's I think like Michelangelo did that or something. No, yeah. no that was just, this was an anus board no, in one of the meeting rooms that you no, guys we used. Actually sh- we, no, we, sure that, n- none of that. 
on that board was us. It could be someone clapping back because you've had other people ranked in the office on your like whiteboard about okay. like SNL names. But well, could have been a clapback. Well, let's not. Uh, this is not about them. This is about me. Was your head on there? I was number one. I have the weirdest head in the office. Why? Wait, oh wait, are you sure it means skull? It says head. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought it was out and about. Yeah. But it could be uh <laughs> it could be just like you have the most inflated I sense of self worth. No, that's maybe not something true. Brandon like that. is like giving a weird head. Is that a I that's not a, a call that's not a diss. Enrique, no. do I give a bad blowjob? <laughs> oh, he's not there. Okay. Uh, it's not like Enrique's just like dick. it's not good or no. bad, it's just weird head. It's just yeah. like I could tell he you really want to do it, <laughs> but like yeah. weird you're brain. A, you're a married uh, man. He's a weird brain. You're a weir- weird brain. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You that's guys that's the same thing. Yeah. You're not saying you're a weird that's brain. What weird brain means. <laughs> you guys didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets <Yeah>. head differently. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you no. didn't do this. They're head, saying they yeah. didn't do you it. You stuck me with like a vaguely no, Cajun <laughs> accent. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were you were perpendicular with my penis. Pinpoint where you were from in this world from your blowjob. I think that uh, also wha- why why did Brandon just go out since Brandon's Chase seat's open? Take a picture of it. Oh, of uh, the board. Yeah. But if he doesn't come back, we're gonna bring. I know that board spelled Bailey Carlin's name wrong. I wouldn't do that. No. First no. of all, I call him B W. How do you sp- how did they spell it? B A I L Y. What? So it has to be somebody uneducated. Yeah, that's stupid. Somebody has that to be a dumb r- motherfucker to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Definitely. Could it be any of us? Mensa, Mensa ass bowls. Yeah, we all went to more than one semester of college. Yeah, <laughs> I did go to one semester of college. Yeah, yeah. I said more than. Yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> you went to two. Yeah. Well, th- th- Paul does it weird though. Paul they does do trimesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they really? Yeah. What is it? A co-op? Is no. it a co-op school? No. No. It doesn't take five years to graduate. It's pretty common. Trimesters aren't that, out of, aren't that out of the norm. Really? Yeah, I think a lot of schools are doing it. Really? Now. I think Penn State's doing them. No. Mm. Are you ser- are you nah, actually being serious? Don't you don't know that. I don't have a clue. Uh, KB statement piece today. Isn't it crazy how uh, the show goes just goes to shit, shit as soon as Brandon leaves? I no, thought it went. I thought it locked the fuck in. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> just just fine. we <laughs> honed in. I thought we saw the ball yeah. extraordinarily well. It's not my handwriting. We're gonna have to do samples. We're gonna have to do handwriting samples. We're gonna have to have multiple. Yeah, that's ours. <laughs> that <laughs> <is>. <laughs> well, I d- no, I no. The weirdest head thing isn't us. No, you got to turn w- it so. Why, why th- wh- this is only for us, huh? There's and like who's on it? There's fake names on there too, and I we don't. And we to the right no, we do bit, fake names, right, but ours are right, significantly right, better than the that. Right, nice. Whoever wrote that has not the greatest handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiot! Weirdest head. No, that's who's on me. it? Who's on it? I can't read it. With the mind who came up with fart van okay, stinky, a, come yeah, up we, with we Garrett. Think. There's a cutest boy list, which is number one is KB. There's no number two, and number five is O'Day. But that's different handwriting for O'Day. That looks like his handwriting. Okay, someone must have added the O'Day. Somebody added O'Day. Mm-hmm. So weirdest head is me, then Bailey, then Big T. I can't see it. Yeah, Big T, KB. Are you saying that Big T does have Lou. a big, big head? Is that Jeff Tilo? No, Jeff T. Lou. No, I think it's Lou Garrett. Oh, Those Lou. are his fake names. Who is Lou? Slump. They're fake. Uh, it's fake. And Grunko. <laughs> <laughs> Grunko is funny, and I wish I thought. <laughs> no, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this is them. No. Again, they would only. They're the only ones who would of say Grunko. Of course, it's them. No. They would not come up with Grunko. I prom- Grunko is, is that's funny. a nickname. That is yeah, a nickname. It is. Name, but yeah, it uh, is. I, uh, look, look at the top question. Come. Is it running? This is definitely no. Me. It's oh, fu- no. that's come. Is it funny? But that was an, on our brainstorming board. Somebody wait, wait. repurposed that and what put it on that brainstorming board it says pick central at the top though it does say oh my god you're giving yourself away no i didn't i didn't tell myself i had a weird head and and wait at the top right that seems like a swastika repurposed as a cool s that that was i saw you do that in person (laughs) ron you're like no it's a a chinese symbol for good luck (laughs) and i was like ron stop stop Not and bad. then you try to make it to some MC Escher shit. MC Escher type shit. That type shit. If you kind of filled in the top, it could be like a Johnny Bravo hair- hairstyle or some shit like that. That's just me as an artist having a, an yeah, introspective de- Wait, brain. Yeah, it could be. Did, yeah. did Pick Central get a cease and desist? No, from, from what? that suburban Columbus High School. PC. By the same name. I don't think uh, there's a Columbus oh, High School. Pickerington. It's Pickerington Central. Yeah, Pick but Central. But everyone colloquially pref- refers to them well as Pick Central. Well, you can't do a cease and desist on Pick a colloquial North, name, can you? you can. Yes, I think you can. you can. I think it's on their jerseys. It says Pick Central it's on their like jerseys. It's even like on the outside of is the building. Picks or Pick? It's P-I-C-K-S. Okay, well, we're Picks. Yours is plural. Mm-hmm. 
but that the S runs in the central and it just creates, a, you know. Pick central, pick central. Pick central. Well, they haven't, they the haven't. Had did you reach out to them to tell them they yeah, should I go did. to the central? I, I, like, I emailed all of their staff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was just hoping you would get one, but no, nah, I don't think they care. You just smoked me in the face with that mic. That was that was weird head that you just tried <laughs> to get me. Brandon, what are you doing? That could have just. Could have remained. Who do you think gives the weirdest head? I bet it's you, Ron. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I'm a I'm a, a, a five finger guy. Uh, oh, what? The printer is not working, but Shay's prep sheet today asked if. What is what the hell was that? See, Brandon's on one. He is on one. Shay, you asked if we tried any big guy moves this weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Did you? How many people in here could have attempted? Two? Half of you? Who were you talking like a like Who's a Hachimura type dunk or <laughs> <that> <laughs> <laughs> I think Sass could do a big guy move. I think no. the amount the amount that he's been in the gym, I think he could do a big guy yesterday move. I was true. Yesterday I was moving around some serious weight, to <laughs> say the least. <laughs> At, in like a fucking euphemism type of way, like no, that you were in the, oh, in the gym. gym. Yeah. In the gym. Okay, nice, nice. I would say I could definitely be pulling off some big guy moves within one to two weeks. Hell yes, bro. That's gonna be some serious. Within some one week. Well, why couldn't you just do it now? He's a little bit away. I got to get up my weight a little more. It's a couple more gains that he has to make. Mm-hmm. He he'll make them though. He may, yeah, always do. When you spend enough time in the gym, you can find yourself that that being all you talk about. Oh, like, yeah. you could bring it up to somebody and have, like, an hour-long conversation. Definitely. Or if you're a fit couple and you guys both just talk about it the entire time. Mm-hmm. Is that is that true or not, KB? You've never been in a fit couple. Uh, isn't a fit couple I've, just one? I've re- delved re- into that. Isn't that one really fit person and the uh, the other person in the couple just does it to fit in or does it to come no, off the ride? No, there are real fit couples. Okay. They, they, they are fit people first, and I think they become couples oh, just see. for the sake of being It's weird. Couples. It's like the only thing that they have in common is that they both go to but the But there gym. are fit couples where one yeah. of them is only fit because the other one is, right? Mm. Uh, that wouldn't be a real. There, there are real fit couples where, where both are equally fit, mm. and they're on TikTok and Instagram. You're a little bit of a gym rat, right? Me? Yeah. A little bit. You're always talking yeah. about your protein. Protein bars. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we got to get one of these protein bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, if they're 18, 19, they should be they able, should to be able to do Xanax and yeah. go out with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loves those bars. There's another type of couple. It's when uh, there's a, a skinny or mildly in shape person and they they plump up their their significant other and you see it a lot on 600 pound life feeders Mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. and that's another type of couple it's an inflation fetish the inflation fetish is called vor (laughs) that's what my buddy told me (laughs) (laughs) i think i'm I'm probably not even saying that right (laughs) Uh (laughs) Uh (laughs) (laughs) what is it called vor Uh, yeah no dude i don't know know, weirdo vor is strictly sexual but like when you're the person doing it to your vor uh, is oftentimes cartoon as well Vor, V O R E, just exactly. Vor, like gore? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But what's the V? Sh- wh- where does it come but from? But it's like, it's like, it'll be like Lola Bunny with like a tube in her mouth. It'll be like inflating her. It's an inflation fetish. Oh, really? It doesn't necessarily have to be food. They could be filled with air. Hell, they'd be, they could be lighter. It could be helium. But as long as they're bigger. So it's not a weight thing. No, it's a, uh-huh. it's a, it's it's a, a size weight. thing. It's a size thing. And not even, a, it's not a density thing. Absolutely no. not. It'll That's a completely different no. thing. But the girl who blows up in Willy Wonka and the... That's Vor. That's Vor. That's what sparks a lot of people's Vor fetish. Oh, they okay. see that for the Trying first time. About other examples. Uh, uh, pe- Mario Party. Yep. You're there pumping up Bowser. The pumping up yep. thing. Uh, uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yep. You see a baby floating down yeah. the street. And what is the fetish of like the kid from Stand By Me who ate the pies then threw up? <laughs> Someone who got stung by a bee? Is that Stand By Me? Nah, that's uh, Macaulay Culkin. That's my Culkin. girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. Oh, okay. But some people do kind of blow up when they get stung by that's a bee. glasses. <laughs> I don't what like about that. I, do that I have an anti-fetish to people who get like what about allergic reactions. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs where the girl gets pricked by the peanut yes. butter. She blows up. Yes. Okay. That's good. Vo- that's, that's a good, good vor. 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 I want. I keep on wanting to put a uh, U in it. Vor. No. Vor. Vori. Um, that's a sponsor. That's a sponsor. Boy, Very comfortable. Ma- maybe that's why, because th- mm-hmm. they're good ass sweatpants. Maybe that's what I'm trying to think of. Mm-hmm. Um, in other big news this weekend, uh, it's White Boy Summer. 
Um, uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, boys, hey Che, why don't you sit this one out? Yeah. Now? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Che, st- stand up for so, us. So yeah, the number one wait, rule see, of what, White uh, Boy Summer is no plaid. Is and so what's Che coming to? In and first of all, tucked plaid. First of all, not white. Second of all, plaid. That's the least White Boy Summer move of all time. Yeah. Let, let, let Steven speak for himself. Uh, let, this guy's let, prepared. He's a nuclear winter for what's, him. What's, <laughs> what's today's date? 29th. The uh, summer solstice is June 21st. So That's, we still got a couple getting, ways away. Yeah, but Hanks wouldn't like that. No. no. You got to you gotta earn white boy summer. It doesn't just happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. You got to prepare yeah. months in advance. But this is, it could be, I mean, the, the spring is yours to, to do what you want with it. But. That was one of the rules. I guess you just didn't see the the missive that there were four rules just to start off. Uh, uh-huh. White boy summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? White boy summer. <laughs> White boy summer. Uh, it was uh, no boat shoes. Mm-hmm. No spares. No Those salmon. Are, if he said, if he said, if okay, you have anything, seems to be salmon, going burn against. It. This seems to be going against. Uh, the you can wear dad hats salmon. only backwards if you have a fresh fade. Mm-hmm. No Birkenstocks. <laughs> only Wait, he flip-flop. said no Birkenstocks. No yeah. Birkenstocks. Only flip flops you can wear. No thongs either. He said no. no he said rainbows. no Birkenstocks. Thong. Said no reefs. No rainbows. No reefs. No rainbows. I'm good with no. Thongs. You can only wear the Gucci, and you can do them with socks. Round yeah. offs and no cartwheels. Okay. You can do a round yeah. off, but if you do a cartwheel, why does he set the rules? He's, he's I, I, Chet, I, Tom hey. Hanks' son. I liked his rules. <laughs> I, I liked loved his rules. His rules. Uh, oh, he also said no smoke shows. He said we're yeah, not saying yeah. smoke oh, shows. You can't anymore. say smoke shows. And I didn't. Do people do that? I don't know. Uh, they must. What but also, oh wait, wait, funny story. Yes, yeah. he was if also. They did that, that would be. He was also with Glenny Balls this weekend. And yeah. Glenny Balls said that he yes. thinks he might have said smoke shows around him, and then the next day he came out with. And that's what we were building towards: the fact that Glenny Balls was at a party with Chet Hayes. Fewer than 10 hours before he came up with White Boy Summer. You know how he kind of came up with it on his walk the next day, his little detox, getting yeah. all the sweat out of his body? He was fresh uh, off of drinking yeah. and partying with Glenny Balls mm-hmm. and Caleb Presley. He knew who both of the, them were. So he had a post-Balls. Yeah. Kind of come to come to Jesus moment, yeah. come to light moment. Yeah. And he had uh, the Illuminati tattoo, which is, that's the guy I want, <laughs> <laughs> giving me advice on what to do. He did have the same chest tattoo that Rihanna has, kind of. He had wings across his chest yeah, a little bit, which I never up. got. He's I never got up. wings on the chest. It was You'd always think that wings would be more of a back thing. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really yeah, make a lot of sense. The the, the the ben Affleck's got a nice set of wings on his back. Does he? Oh, yeah. does he? he to a, it's a phoenix. He's got a great a phoenix back rising. tattoo. Yeah. It's huge. It's, it's almost, very large. It's like a hell and hell and earth type of thing. Like a fight a fight for the, uh, human souls or some shit like that. Uh-huh. He took up his whole fucking back for that shit. Not, not the best decision, but he it's is your pretty, back. You don't is, see it. Yeah, that's true. He's the coolest cigarette smoker of all time. You think so? Ben mm-hmm. Affleck. You or think so? Easily. You think he's aging better than Damon? Oh yeah. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Have you seen his back tat? One of them just <laughs> no. chose the family life, and the other one just decided that I'm gonna keep on trying to fuck Anna De Armas, et cetera, et cetera. I think that Damon is just out with his family, just going to brunch and shit like that, and I think that. Uh, Affleck sucking down cigarettes, eating Dunkin' Donuts, living his best life. I think yeah. Damon the cut pr- out the ma- middleman. He married a woman with a child already. He did? Mm-hmm. Damon did? I think so. A bartender with a kid. He did? Yep. You know mm-hmm. a movie I watched this weekend? Good Will Hunting. Gone Girl. Shut up. Yeah, it was really good. Never Bell seen it Bell before. Flick. Yeah, it was really good. Mm-hmm. Really? Super, super creepy at the end, though. Why? Oh, well, no, I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen it. By Everyone's now, seen right? it. You can't spoil yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Um,. I don't know. Just yeah, whole you thing were the last one. <laughs> 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 you, you, we can you finally <laughs> spoil it. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. The end when he's living with his wife still, I would have not been able to do that. What, what do you kill? mean? Because his wife is a killer. Right. And, and you would. She's crazy. But he cheated on her, though. Yeah, but so she's going to kill him. No, it was his fault. You don't understand. It's his fault that she did the killing because he cheated on her. We yeah, should... but either way, like he, she's going to kill him at some point. We should do movie discussion on this show more. Tomorrow, we yeah. could. I think yeah. we could, too. We'd all bring a movie and we'd discuss Sass, it. have Break you them? seen <laughs> The Sixth Sense yet? Yeah. <sighs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> what Let's about Blair about Witch it. Project? Yeah, I've seen that, too. Oh, Sass. Fuck. How about that, that moment in Gone Girl when he's like, Ah, it's a Gone Girl! <laughs> 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 My girl is gone! <laughs> 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 I, I love that part. Mm-hmm. It was a little on the nose. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was his titular like quote. It, was, it ruins uh, it. I, I yeah. love a good I, I titular it. quote. That's here uh, on the yak. like in Breaking Bad when he was like, "I am the Breaking Bad." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am that. Breaking Bad. 
<laughs> they did that in Gone Baby Gone, mm-hmm. where they actually they just put the name of the movie in the middle of it. And, it, it, uh, it ruins immersion. It ruined the whole movie. Uh, it ruined everything. That's a great movie, too. Because she's gone, baby. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so dumb. Wait, what's immersion? Oh wait! I broke the immersion. I think I'm, oh, I'm I watching a movie, and then it reminds me that it's a it's movie. A movie yeah. Yes. I hate that. Yes. Exactly. Or like in Ocean's Twelve, when they're like, "She does look like Julia Roberts." It ruined my immersion yes. in, in Ocean Twelve. I couldn't. Uh, I didn't think them to be in. A I don't think anymore. any actors should be public figures or recognizable celebrities. Wait, what do you mean? So I'm just thinking, I'm like, that's George. How would that work? That's yes. someone they that should I, never that's say not, who's in it. Because I, I actually fall for, like, suspension of belief. I believe uh-huh. it's what I'm watching is real. Yes. And I don't want to keep looking at someone who's very famous. That's why I yes. hate celebrity cameos in movies. Right. Don't surprise yeah. me with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching yeah. Seven. I'm just like, that's not a murderer. That's, that's a good guy. That's Kevin Spacey. Spacey. <laughs> 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 that's an innocent man. You could never convince me Classic he was guilty cameo. of anything. Yeah. Wait, I can't no, believe no, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a deviant psychopath. It just doesn't make sense. Or when fucking Travolta was that woman in hair. What? That doesn't make no. sense he's at all. He's hyper-masculine. He's super-masculine. he's got plenty. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, what the fuck? Was that Kevin the name Spacey. of it? Hairspray. 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 Mm-hmm. Hair Sp- was a musical. Baltimore. Have you guys ever seen Kevin Spacey in Call of Duty? No. No. No, no, no really? No. no. Yeah, I forget which Call of Duty it is. There's one campaign and Kevin Spacey's in it and you're like talking to him and he's he's leading the war basically. Uh, isn't Avenged Sevenfold is in a, in a Call of Duty game too. They're just like, they're, just, they're doing you're just shit. at war, and then there's just like, <laughs> what's his name? M. Shadows, <laughs> lead singer of Avenged yeah. Sevenfold. <laughs> it's like, this is Bat Country. <laughs> All right, Mr. Shadow. All right, <laughs> Mr. Shadow. <laughs> it is a good name. That's an acronym, right? Avenged Sevenfold? Yes, it is. <laughs> Much like Booba <laughs> Stang. Wait, wait, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, keep talking. It, it is an acronym. Yeah, yeah Avenged okay. Sevenfold is an acronym. Because Booba Stang, I, I just started realizing how many bands are acronyms after mm-hmm. I started looking mm-hmm. into the, the shit you guys posted about Booba Stang. Mm-hmm. Booba Stang, what is the full... Hold on, Hold on brothers, brothers and sisters. <laughs> the answer is never known. The answer is yeah. never known. And then Avenged Sevenfold, yeah. on the other hand, that one is... A very... <laughs> energetic no no no, no 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 it's no, a no, very no, no, early no, no. night a very early night god <laughs> <laughs> oh. every every night gets even mm-hmm. avenged <laughs> i think the av- I, I, I think every the actual- night gets even darker <laughs> yes. I, actually i think the a avenged. in the acronym avenged sevenfold is avenged Mm-hmm. Which is mind-boggling. Where does yeah. it end? It gets, Wait, Avenged Sevenfold it's, it's starts an acro- with Avenged. Avenged, and then that is an acronym yeah. too. That's an acronym within an acronym. Yeah, a little acronymception. That's fucking okay. Deep. Yeah, it's it's a very early night. God, every night gets even darker. Space, <laughs> <laughs> so, and then you had Sevenfold. Keep seven. going. Keep Can, going. It, no, sevenfold is is a word. Yeah, that's just the time. That's not an acronym. It's crazy how. Um, fast you are coming up with, ac- uh, with fake acronyms but e- even so I've seen people do it way faster <laughs> 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 no like you're definitely good but <laughs> yeah. he's right <laughs> I've seen people do it way yeah, faster way faster I saw that. a battle rapper say pick up a can of Budweiser and he was like bitch you do whatever I say every rip or whatever which spelled out Budweiser he just did it in well, the he, moment he definitely pre-wrote that you think so yeah definitely. he doesn't he didn't just like this oh. was juice he didn't this just was, see a this was bud. juice he just pulls. Okay, a then juice he pulls juice a Budweiser out of his <laughs> pocket. <laughs> juice is off the top. What the fuck? Who fuck put this in my fucking yeah, pocket? This. All right, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? But he made it seem like he fucking just picked it up on the stage, and he. But yeah, he must. He must have been thinking about it for a long time. Yeah. I even remembering it. It's hard that I've seen people nah. remember their fake backronyms that they came up way faster than you remember. <laughs> okay. remember their shit. All right, all right. <laughs> You think you're good at coming up with acronyms? TLAs? That will be an amazing game show. And by amazing, I mean awful. <laughs> yeah. Just hosted by Steve Harvey, and he just gives you a word. You make it into an acronym. A lot mm-hmm. of game shows. almost. I, w- every, I would love that. Every game show is really bad. I feel like that wouldn't be yeah. that hard, to be honest. I but think it would be. Hard. All right, well. Um, it, can't, it can't be random. <laughs> it can't be random. Yeah, it words. It has, it has to, to sound like flow. a, a but I, 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 Okay, Maybe it would be hard, but I feel like there's also a good chance that you could get lucky and just come up with like an awesome lucky. one right off the bat. I don't know if that's yeah. something you're going to get lucky with. Did you hear their Hoopastank one? <laughs> well, that wasn't luck. I, no, that that's was the, we just looked at the Wikipedia. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's mm. not that's not luck. Why right, try one, Brandon? Oh, I don't know. He's the Just one. So, I brain. think it would be very hard. Try one. No. Try one. What? Try yeah. Try one. an acronym for hard. What? I got nothing. Here's a raped dog. <laughs> See, that was good. Oh, yeah. you see how fast he came up with that? That's why you're the fucking goat. Yeah, so goat. Why. Try one for goat. <laughs> what's uh, what's an adjective that begins with a G? <laughs> Gr- gruesome. Gr- good. good. Great. Greatest. Greatest. Uh-huh. It probably doing shit like this will help your brain get, get better and faster. Girls at the dance. Ah, oh, fuck no. Gr- no, no, no. Get no. it? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. No, it nah, is. Girls Her- or- was right. Not that hard. <laughs> Girls <laughs> orgasming at um, Target. dawn. Go. Why Let's do you go. keep throwing D? It's the I, T. Yeah, my, my brain is fucked up. Such All right. a weird brain. Why is it Such so fucked up? Such a weird brain. Why is it so Girls, fucked up? Yeah. Why is it so fucked up? Why? Did you get loose this weekend? No. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are you sure? You loosened Positive. up a bit? Positive. Nick, did he? I played badminton I at Central yeah. Park. I had moved. Wait, you I played badminton at Central Park? Yes. How'd that go? I've played since I was younger, so well. Okay, all right. Is there an active league at Central Park? No, there's just a net. Okay, it's up all, all the time. Are you it's playing up all the against time? kids? No, white. They're not the best, so they're they're white. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't have to say that. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> they got weren't you, elite. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. So I could casually play. I could see someone from like uh, Vietnam playing. Badminton or something it's like a that. It's va- Korea take like sweep. China, Japan. Yeah. Yeah, Do they badminton. really? Yeah, I could see them dominating. But I you're was s- always terrible at badminton. You? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Just was it's too because it. it goes too slow. Yeah, I d- in gym I always sucked at it. Really? Yeah. It's kind of the funnest game. It's kind of the funnest net game. Nah, Shuttle the funnest it. net game. I think Shuttlecock. it's so fun. It's fun yeah. to say. Fun to say. Yeah. The it's, badminton- not the, it's not the funnest playground game. That's playground. Te- tetherball. Tetherball's terrible. Tetherball. Tetherball is the best. I was going to say. You know what? That's the, that's the circus peanuts of playground game. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, tetherball. <laughs> no, no tetherball's awesome. Of course you like Thank you. Them. How do you even score a point no in Tetherball? You, should, in you have to wrap it all the way around your direction. That's not it's amazing. fun. No tetherball's one a very fun <laughs> that's game. That's a weird mm-hmm. game. It's yeah. a, the best. It's a very fun game, especially for the playground. I agree. No, how many, that's how like many the worst. can you get in on a Tetherball game? One-on-one. Tetherball's the worst playground game. If Why? you if you know how to really spin it, you do the downward motion. What so kids are actually playing right a game of it I, as I, opposed I to just fucking with it? Tether Elliot Rogers every yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I played tether so much tetherball. It is like a it's like a poor 1920s game. It's like a maypole. It's just like mm. a ball and a stick. It's you like have a ball and a pole. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really sticking a hoop. Yeah, it's just, it's like that. Is that like the that game is way funner? You think sticking a hoop? I'd right? rather play horseshoes. And tetherball. I'd rather play horse KB, I see all you the most being fun like games are sold at Cracker guy. Barrel country stores. <laughs> I yeah. could see KB have like gone in like D one to tetherball. <laughs> That's not a th- like KB. that seems no, like something he absolutely does not have to build. Or he I just feel like <laughs> you'd have to be tall, right, to be a really good tetherball no, player. No. To get all the leverage. It is, all it is, no. is just the angle. You need reach. As soon as you get, as soon as you get in the motion of just pushing it down and it going up. It's is there a chance that you got too aggressive one time at a tetherball and like ripped it off the rope or something like that and got laughed off the tetherball court? It's never even like driven me. You get laughed off. For calling it a rope, first of all. <laughs> Why? What's it, a tether? It's a tether. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on weird sports, have we had any follow-up with our ski ball guys? Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, um, I've been in talks with Joey the Cat. Kay. He's sending me more clips. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to play clips for the show, but I'll mm-hmm. show you guys. We'd love to see <laughs> when it. we're done. Um, he Perfect. wants to come in. They're both really about it. I don't know how we can get them in. One's in Jersey. Where's Joey the Cat? Joey the Cat's in San Francisco. Oh. He, yeah, again, yeah, living in an arc, living he lives in, a, in an arcade, arcade warehouse. We can swing that though. Does he actually that, fight yeah. for this? That's fine. That's like every kid's dream. Living in an arcade, mm-hmm. and, and yeah. with like a half pipe in there. Be the king tether of Kong. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dude, Chuck E. Cheese had tether ball. That and whack a mole. I'd be living. Jeez. Dude, I, well, I, they do have whack a mole. Well, that that paired with tether ball. Oh. My grandmother had a tether ball. Uh, tether ball out back of her house, and we broke it one time using it as home base for kickball. But like no one wanted to play tether ball. No one wants to play tether ball. <laughs> no one wanted to. It's, we it's use it as a kickball. Uh, yeah, it's a loan. It's I can see not game. wanting to play tether ball if you suck at it, because it's kind of just like you. Get, Everybody you get, sucks at it. Nobody knows how to play it. You just you just fuck with it. You All just, right, so you, okay, okay. you know how There's to play it. Skill, yeah. I'm forced to do it. I'm and looking up you, the best tether ball player in the world. And if you yes, suck, let's find him. I actually Spam now now that I think about it, like if you suck, like my cousin's super good at tether ball, and if you suck at tether ball, it's like so embarrassing. Yeah, because they're just talking shit and they're just. Because they just, what? it just keeps going around and you just keep missing it. And it's like there's nothing you can do. Nothing. It's like you're it just getting embarrassed. 
You're just striking out. It's just like whiffing at a pitch. But it's like whiffing at a pitch like 15 times in a row. Yeah, and the other person is staring at you. Yeah. (laughs) There's also a good chance of people getting smoked in the face with a tether ball. Oh, yeah. If you don't know exactly where it's going to go. I do. I can't believe you hijacked my badminton fucking conversation with a fucking a tether ball conversation. I thought it was Kyle's badminton conversation. Roan with right. an all-time uh, <laughs> move to get a compliment on his new shoes before the show started. <laughs> he sat down. And he's just like, does it? What smells like new shoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. It's my new shoes. <laughs> why, why is it so much stronger by, by no, but, me? No, but what he did was he said, it smells like cologne. Like, it doesn't smell like cologne. No, no, it's actually, you're, you're right. It smells yeah, like new shoes. Like new cologne. fucking shoes. Dude, well, I just got so tired of seeing everybody in blazers every every single day, so I had to uh, spread my wings and get uh, the exact same silhouette. The, the, cl- the closest, I thought they were the closest blazers. shoe to a blazer. <laughs> That's not a blazer. Yeah, I'm going to have to get those. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone fucking gets Are you them. worried they're too white? They'll get, they'll get uh, fucked up. They'll get cooked by July. Mm-hmm. July. Muck them up. Yeah, they'll get they'll get nice and yeah. mucked up. There's not even a best tether ball player. They, don't, they don't even ju- they don't. They're rank dead now. Them. Yeah, there's no world. There has to be a name the best tether there ball player. I mean, like a ten year old on a playground. No, I don't, I don't even think ten year olds are playing tether ball anymore. Some what playgrounds have yeah, them they're built in. making fucking TikToks. Yeah, like tether ball. Tether ball TikTok though. <laughs> 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 oh, that would pop off. Yo, only kids from the fifties will know this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not from the 50s if you can't whip a tether yeah. ball around. Yeah. What a stupid game. Okay, yeah. the, pr- the championship's in Thailand. A rugged-ass tether ball boy. <laughs> uh, tether ball, no. T- tether ball continues no. to remain an informal sport. <laughs> Leagues are extremely rare. <laughs> yeah, professional tether ball organizations... Tether ball players are the start one. Tether ball <laughs> players are all recluses who I'd just like, go out just for tether ball. I'd like to point out there's <laughs> professional <laughs> ski ball players. But not tether ball. What's the body type for a good a tether, tether ball player? player? Is never conglomerated with a group of other humans. There what about no head? head. They're loners by nature. Yeah. yeah, it's very easy. It's to a be n- good Napoleon at Dynamite hit the nail on the head. That's the type of person who plays tether ball. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got <laughs> it. Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. I I love it. I feel like you have to have a good, a good ass core to, to be I think good. You have to be tether yeah, you you'd have to be tall yeah. and have leverage on your side, right? You, you really like don't good, like, need to be tall. You need to be about six five, two hundred. No. Are you way. saying you're the prototypical tether ball <laughs> player? <laughs> <A> young <laughs> southern guy, you know. <laughs> Wait, do you like slap the ball around? <laughs> yes. Is that how you keep it? I was thinking you like <laughs> caught it and like, No, you slap it. You can revive And if you miss it, like it's just you win if the ball gets all the way wrapped around on your side. Is you that can. how the Millie Rock was made? Yeah. They're just simulating a tether ball? Play air te- Yeah. Tether ball? No one needs to Photoshop a fucking tether ball into a good ass Millie Rock video. That's a sport that looks way less cool. A sport that looks way cooler is a high lie. So seeing oh. some fucking high Indonesian dudes whipping the fuck out of a high lie yeah. at like 180 miles an hour, that looks cool as fuck. So intimidating that nobody could just whip around a high lie. Yeah. But that's another sport that my grandma just had in her garage. She had that? She had high lie, but it was like plastic high lie. Oh. What was going on at your grandmother's house? She had. It was, was that lit. like the cornucopia plastic? Yeah. With the yes, it's yeah. like a little scoop. I like that a one. A little yeah. scoop. You that's can, a fun beach I game. think they hold the world record, that, that sport, for the fastest uh throw yeah i think so they it's like, like a sidearm thing and you're yeah. basically just whipping it out of a how do you like even a, play it like a kitty litter scoop what was my grandma thinking just <laughs> having a highlight well, that was <laughs> one of those cobwebbed things at the yeah. bottom of a garage yes. uh container but yeah. like my it was like a uh, yeah like a plastic i think like in uh, indonesia or wherever they're good at it it's like a wooden yeah like a they're real legit. nice no, it's wooden. but no that was in like the same aisle as like pool noodles and super mm-hmm. soakers yeah, yeah. why and then those uh the velcro Pro-catama. circle things what was the the, the, the the paddles with the ball that you yeah, put on the, the beach? Velcro the Velcro ball? mitt. Yeah. The, Velcro the Velcro circles. Oh, the yeah. Velcro. yeah. We're losing sports. Those things kinda. were kind of dumb as fuck. Those were dumb as fuck. Yeah. Those were dumb as fuck. Wait, the Velcro they, mitts? Just I catch think, it. I think cornhole is taking that whole aisle now. And uh, like, Cornhole's what's the one where you spike the bolos spike or spike ball? Right. That kind of shit. Have you ever played? Uh, what's the one with the frisbee and the uh, can, can jam? jam. Can I jam. love can jam. Nah, me. You do? I don't know how to throw yeah. a frisbee. You can do? Jam's my favorite one. You do? Say that again. I don't know how to throw a frisbee. He doesn't. He doesn't. Shut up. Don't know how. I'll teach you this summer. I don't know if I'm left or right-handed. <laughs> on, on God. No <laughs> cap. I get that. No when you're, like, writing, which hand you... Uh, <laughs> left. Yeah? Yeah. I, not, think, well, I think that's what it is, then. Nah, I throw balls uh, beside... Hmm. I switch. You're Ambi. 
Uh, no, because I can't do them with both. Are I there can't soccer players who kick with both oh, legs yeah. at the same yeah. time? All of them. All, mm. Yeah, yeah. Like the, even if they're like dominant righties, oh, they still yeah. go left. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole idea. Why? <laughs> Just that's that's mind blowing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they. I had they gr- interchange. <laughs> they it is mind blowing. They kick with both legs, even if they're a righty. I uh, <laughs> in like a grade school soccer game, like the ball was coming right to my left foot, right in front of the goal, and I like gave up a goal because I tried to like circle around it to to kick it with my right foot. I wasn't ambi like yeah, that. I can't go left. I can't just kick with my left foot mm. and just swing back a left foot like that. No fucking chance. When did you motherfucker stop playing soccer? I never played it. Ooh. I started. And, it's, and it shows. <laughs> Went to one. Wow. How does it show? And it's obvious. How does yeah. it show? <laughs> it does. Uh-huh. It couldn't be more obvious that you never played soccer. I walk soccer. down the hall, you say, that guy's never played soccer. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. I and I bet everybody else did play soccer. One practice, yeah. got there, got my shirt, put it on, got stung by a bee and quit. <laughs> 100% true. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because it smelled your I, fear. I, yeah. It definitely did. Yeah. It and are bees attracted to the color yellow, or did I just think that because that was my team color? Yeah, probably. Your yeah. team was the bees. <laughs> I don't think they were. Yeah. <laughs> the bee, I was always on the bee team. <laughs> 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 like, oh, that's yeah, weird. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we medal like you, every year. Yeah, <laughs> we all got medals. Whatever. <laughs> So you're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, just the bees. You're just named after uh, the animal, the bee. <laughs> 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 the bee team. I, l- I love how they that still gets play, like naming the JV guys bee. Mm-hmm. It, some try to work around it by giving them a different color. Yeah. Just, like, the just red call, team and the blue team. Say it what it is. I don't want to have to predict like what the green team means. It is pretty fucked. Like if you like if you're like if you ever made like the C team. Like <laughs> I was on the C team a lot when I was younger. Really? Was what like, sport? Uh, hockey. God damn! Why did they even? Why did they have the C team? Just don't play hockey. They had C. I think they had like the C. They had like the C B team or something too. So which is like the D team basically, but they don't want to go. It was the B team of the C team. Why not just have a different team or league or something like that? Why subjugate people to that level? So it's like free. I don't know. That does. does. It sounds mean. Some good subjugation. No, there's some that work around it. They call it like. There's like Moundsville, Moundsville Elite, and then Moundsville Elite B. Then Mount, let's just say put Elite. Yeah, you before. can't be Elite B. You're not Elite. elite. If you're when I was B, younger, you're not I got, Elite. When I was younger, I got cut from the hockey team, and uh, they sent out a list of everyone that got cut to the every to every <laughs> every <laughs> everyone family. that made it, and it was me and two other kids. <laughs> so they had everyone who made the team, and then below there was just me and two kids <laughs> who got cut. I, I can relate to that. So <laughs> weird, yeah. right? Like, do you, why? Do you remember our eighth grade superlatives? You, you, you just seven. straight up didn't get one. I didn't get one. There were 14 kids we graduated with. There were yeah. 25 superlatives. No. And I didn't get yeah. one. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Nathan McFadden got three. Yes. Like Schilling Rodocker got two. Mm-hmm. Bo Chukta even got two. Bo least got least two. likely for nothing. Least likely to do nothing. Didn't get yeah. anything. You're the least but, likely. Because that's but almost there a were superlative. Weird. Look, there were those best There's legs. There's a blog about it. There's best legs. What the fuck? Weird. I, mean, I, I blogged about it. Who won it? Who won it? Alyssa Stefano. Stefano. She just got married yesterday. Shut up. Yeah. When I was in high school, Dude they like scored. Re- they removed so you had a good lot legs of those. in eighth grade. <laughs> right. Dude, those are real oh, damn. Those are some good. <laughs> it was yeah, the, the voting the, process. It was, the, the teachers sta- got the voted. Teachers got voted. Yeah. Vote? So there was like best hair, Mr. best leg. Mr. Dietrich was our gym teacher, so he got like he got on the board because he gets to see their we saw the most, most legs. exposed legs. Yeah. Was <laughs> it uh, most likely to have good legs or best legs at that time? Best legs parentheses currently, and then there was another one. Best <laughs> future legs. <laughs> took a future on. Uh, best legs. <laughs> legs. <laughs> Perspective <laughs> legs. <laughs> what were you about to say, Sass? Oh, when I was in high school, they removed all of those superlatives like the... Why? Some girl got voted like... Biggest slut. Like biggest, <laughs> biggest, no, biggest fucking She whore. got voted bi- class flirt, and they removed it. Shut up. Yeah, she asked if they could. Uh, uh, yeah, most well round, well round, well round. There's always the obese fat, kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they were just like, and That's like so they, they did it for up. years. Like, <laughs> like very big kids. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was just a vor thing. It was a vor thing. <laughs> it could have just been a vor. <laughs> most well rounded. Yeah, <laughs> that was bad. Would I, look, I can, I would know look who best it. if inflated. <laughs> <laughs> and we did have we did have ugliest in just in the newspaper though. <laughs> That's it, it was, so. You know who won our ugliest? Rusty Bihana. That's so. Funny. Well, I, I don't believe that, but he would have won it. No, no, the kid in your grade uh, was uh, 
you know who he wrestled. It was always a wrestler that won ugly. <laughs> Rusty Baiana wasn't a wrestler. Rusty Baiana sounds like a like a women's like picture frame shop or some <laughs> yeah, shit like it that. It does. Come to Rusty it's, Baiana. It's, it's, it's like restoration <laughs> hardware. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who, I'm trying to think of who. Oh, I know who won him. Don't now. Don't say it. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, yeah. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. And yeah, it's the fact that you're just we're doing well, that. Where's the dead guy? If you could win ugliest, Rusty when you're was, didn't deserve it. He was like br- brutish looking, but not like that's it. He was just brutish, not deformed. Honestly, and the fact that there are B teams and like things like this is like it needs people. It gives people like something to overcome. Like Michael Jordan, if he doesn't have that story, like Michael Jordan made the B team. Mm-hmm. Where like the dude on Cleveland this year in the tournament was like he was on the C team of his uh, AAU team or something like that. Worked his way up to the C team. Michael Jordan the making the B team is such like a not impressive come up story. <laughs> yeah, he was like a freshman. Fra- he was a <laughs> freshman. Yeah. It's also yeah. false. Yeah. It's fair. Michael yeah. Jordan made. If the If you B read the team. book, you'll yeah. empathize with the the coach. Yeah, because he didn't put any. And did he like make a, he like bitched there's about also, it too? There's plenty of schools who just have like rules that freshmen don't play on varsity. He yeah Could've he used that. that being like nobody believed in me. <laughs> it's like dude, we gave you a full scholarship, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and you averaged thirty six points a game. You had a chef. <laughs> no one ever believed in me. What are you talking about? People are always trying to fucking put themselves down. Like, this is me coming up. Like this was me six months ago. Like you had a six pack then, yeah. and now you have a six pack now. My like, teachers this didn't care. They didn't. They didn't teachers. believe me. I, they didn't make me go to class. That's why I was in the gym all day. Yeah, <laughs> they <laughs> let you stay yeah, in the gym. Exactly. <laughs> it was always like rappers were like, or musicians are like, my teachers. Teachers always told me I wouldn't 20, be they, shit. They wouldn't. I wouldn't succeed <laughs> in the rap. Has a single industry. teacher <laughs> ever said that? Like, no. Uh, no. Put your hand down, Mr. Bauer. You're never going to be <laughs> shit. <laughs> no. I, don't, I, I would argue that there hasn't. That's never been. That's an, never an been. Said. I had a call yeah. with I, my advisor last week, and it was close. She was saying stuff close to that. I've had. She I've had. I had a teacher in eighth grade who told me so I people, would never graduate high school. Yeah. She was uh, like, where? I did really, I've never met these. People. I did really bad last my last quarter of school last year because I got hired at barstool and i was like F- i'm never going back to college and i like was on the phone with her and she was like wow she was like read it looking at my grade she's like she was like yeah like uh she, and she was like are you f-? she was like are you okay i was like what and she, was like, <laughs> she, was like, she was like i don't know like you seem like kind of all over the place right now and i was just like sitting on my phone and i was like i don't even know wh- i was literally gonna hang up because like, i don't even know what to say to that having bad grades isn't even all over the place it's just that's bad that's yeah, in one place there are f's <laughs> It was crazy. I had never had a conversation like that. Like she just came in and was like making me feel Why like are you still terrible. talking to a goddamn advisor? Yeah, that is crazy. Just wanted to chat. But you're thinking about going back to school, aren't you? Well, I'm thinking I'm about taking a class yeah. part time, yeah. You would stay at Barstool though. Yeah. What class would you take? I'm going to take a screenwriting class. Honestly, I, you think they could get me in that class? Yeah, probably. On God? Yeah. Let me take the Thursdays, class. Thursdays at 5:30. Let's do it. I want to take a class. I want to take a class. I feel like I'm in a stage right now where I could receive class. And and when I was in college, I was I wanted to take no classes. I I remember in college there was always like two like thirty four year olds who were like would raise their hand aggressively. You could tell like they were always raised. They were fuck ups who were trying to like Yeah, I had a kid that was recapture the magic. Yeah, and they're, they're like the most active participants in every discussion. Yes. But now that I kinda could see that being me. 'Cause it's like yeah. you actually have hunger for the knowledge. Yeah. I wanna yeah, I'll take a class. What would you take? Mandarin. <laughs> Why well, you you do have you've had a <laughs> obsession with Mandarin. You told Kyle the other day that he could learn Mandarin when he was like memorizing yeah, Frank the Tank's hometown like uh statues. Yeah. Why why are you so obsessed with Mandarin? You gotta you gotta uh you wanna go to China? No, never. <laughs> uh, but it's just like that's one of the most impressive things. There's uh, like Mandarin Montessori's in downtown Brooklyn. Yeah. You should just get in with like the four year olds and just try and learn it at like a low level. That'd be awesome. My high school offered Mandarin. I kind of regret not taking yeah, it. Yeah, mine did too. Uh, really? Taking a language that's, was. That's the rich shit. Yeah, that's, 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 the, that's, that's the bread, bread bullshit. bullshit. That's bread bullshit. bullshit. Honestly, yeah, I was on your side up. for the bread bowl. You can't but be offered Mandarin. That's bread bullshit. Really? Yeah, that is bread bullshit. I it definitely is. No, that's bread bullshit. That's bread bullshit. Both of y'all. Or, mm-hmm. Yeah, oh god. I knew that was bread bullshit. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I took Mandarin in college. It was terrible. Really? Did I don't <laughs> uh, it's not even my, my <laughs> Did they like did, did let people him, like let him say what he's gonna say. No. Just let him say what he's gonna say. So did in Chinese there's two dialects. There's Mandarin, which is the much more popular one, there's Cantonese, Cantonese which, right. which dad, is for the losers. <laughs> which my dad and his whole family speak. So Damn. thinking it was basically meaningless. Uh I took it. 
Very hard. X's and Q's are very prominent letters. Yeah. So I mean, it, I might as well just. Did everybody? Like did everybody Jane, like though. try to sit next to you and then like <laughs> first <laughs> no. test like the dude that cheated off you was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You don't know shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I did have to. Uh, I did miss like an exam or something like that and had to go take it at the uh, the teacher's like office or whatever. And um, Asian guy, obviously Chinese guy. And uh, <laughs> I went in there, I'll never forget it. And, you know, you think about what these people are like when they're not in the classroom. He was just, you know, regular old Chinese dude. He reminded me of my dad. So he goes in there <laughs> and he's like, all right, here, take the test. So he's sitting at his desk and he's taking it. <laughs> he puts on this like sweater vest and just starts eating like, this is very stereotypical. He starts eating like a pack of ramen noodles. And he has this like very uh, old Chinese uh, music going on in the background. It's very like a uh, harpish. Uh-huh. It was a very calming atmosphere. I, it I sounds did, nice. I did well on the test. It sounds zen. It zen sounds is zen. A, a Chinese concept, I right? I love that. Uh, Zen's Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Zen gardens? Or is that Japanese? I think it might be I Japanese. Think it's Asian. It's Japanese, isn't it? No, but, but aren't Japanese things usually multiple syllables, though? Zen sounds Chinese. Chinese. Not all. I mean, not... Suzuki. Ichiro Suzuki. Mm. Mm. Rui? Yeah. Rui. Speaking of which, what about his fucking what? What a pack. that yam? Oh, 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 I remember I got a text from Kyle. I was like, "What? Ha like I thought it was an emergency." And he just said, "Did you see him cock that joint back?" And I said, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking Dude, about? And I, I feel awesome because I remember two years ago, I told my folder he's a huge Heat fan. He's from Hialeah. He told you what? Told you your folder. My, my the guy who folds my Your clothes. Lord, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Cuban guy from Hawaii. Kai will bring like spotless oh, clothes and be like, yeah, like fold. No, they, we have a washer yeah. and a folder. He folds them and he's the best at what he does. Does he use a he machine? A does he use like the apparatus where his he, thing is, is like he's all he, natural? He, he thinks he can do double the folds. And so he can like squeeze my clothes into like one of Little those bank <laughs> tubes. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, origami. Yeah. I remember telling him the Japanese word, by the way. I said, you guys. I think you guys should get Hachimura over Tyler Harrow, and he called me a hater. Really? And I was just like, now nah, look at look at both of them. Look at us now. I mean, <laughs> honestly, yeah, but but Hachimura even might have a bigger ceiling the way that he's developing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, Harrow could have been a little flash in the pan. Yeah. And seeing Gonzaga do so well, it's like Hachimura is part of a program, mm -hmm. and he has kind of determined the success of. Was Hachimura the same there at the same time as mm -hmm. Kispert? For at least a year, Maybe right? Maybe a year, right? For at least a year. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what Kispert <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. a big Kispert, guys. Me, us? Yes. Well, we took him first round. Oh. You mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. did. If you yes. love well, Fantasy League. Kispert. Mm, love French. Him. French man. Yeah. Kispert. 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 Mm -hmm. Kispert. No, did you take French in high school? No. Spanish. I took uh, French. You did? Mm -hmm. Spanish was a nightmare in high school. Por qué, my brother? <laughs> 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 I, I feel like every Spanish teacher I had was like the worst teacher I've ever had. I just remember like I remember like f not knowing any of the words, and they'd be like, she'd be like, all right, like we'd be we'd be translating the homework, and she I wouldn't know any of the words, and she'd make me go over and grab the glossary or the dictionary, whatever it was, from the. Uh, from the cabinet and come back and I have to individually <laughs> individually go through and look up every single word in the sentence until I like knew the entire sentence. She sounds like a great teacher. Like last year. Teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would, I, it would take it would take like 20 minutes. And like the thing is she wouldn't class. let me quit. She like <laughs> just was like you're learning this. It was more fun. <laughs> it was more fun. <laughs> My that Spanish teachers were always just like huh? very average looking women but like one of the only women in the building so. That's what I was gonna. I was gonna <laughs> ask. In, in, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. There weren't a lot of women in your, in your school as teachers. I went to an all guys school. All guys school. But they don't hire. What's the deal with the staff at all boys schools? All they hire. They hire some women. Try to hire all women. I didn't have a dude men. teacher till eighth grade. Yeah, seventh seventh, grade. seventh yeah, for me I, as well. I didn't have one high school. For real? His name was Mr. Manning. What? All yeah. my dude teachers were dicks, too. He was a big Civil War <laughs> reenactor. <laughs> Sounds like you were just a bad student. Yeah, yeah, I think you were Yo, teach. Dick. Fuck you. My mom bought him a Civil I'm doing War. comedy. No, I was very... <laughs> I was very... I you was, won't be shit. <laughs> I was, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I've signed on for two trimesters at DePaul. <laughs> <laughs> I was very uh, quiet in school. Oh, you want me to learn Spanish? You want me to open up your little fucking book? Uh, <laughs> 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 Did, uh... What 
like people in my high school, and I don't know if it was just a Philly thing, but they had the worst accents when they were trying to speak in Spanish. It was just like Puerto Rico, Albano. No, I think that was everywhere. Yeah, Anywhere? What was it like in West Virginia? What was it like was the, the same except with a West Virginia dialect? Biblioteca. Don't they style la biblioteca? I we had to do two years of a language, and I don't know a single word. Yeah. I think that some people then, would even then, emphasize their their own accent, their lack of an accent, to show how yeah. little they cared. It was like, how can I be cool at saying Spanish? Mm-hmm. And it's just uh, that, by that saying was. It's almost a, a like race to the biggest a, accent. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What was it like in... Same same way, man. I'm trying to think of how to... Puedo ir al baño? I got laughed out of the room in uh, junior year of Spanish when they were, she went and she said, all right, I got to see where everybody's at. And the first thing that she had me read, I read it. I thought it was my voice, and it was very southern, and all the black guys laughed at me, and I got mad at him, and I ended up. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you Antoine did. Walker laughed at me, and all he couldn't the say black it either. Guys <laughs> he couldn't say it either. He <laughs> laughed at me, and well, you ran out of the uh, room crying. I didn't run out of the room, but it was it was rough. I you did. did it? Uh-huh. I don't think I've ever gotten laughed at so hard that I had to leave the room. <laughs> but you, but Brandon's also times. much more frustratable oh, than you yeah. are. It's the Brandon origin a, story of Sean King. <laughs> 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 Brandon, were you the kind of guy that would like you'd, you'd yell at the teacher, like get up in her face? No, I never yelled at the teacher. I never, I never. That's got why it. we don't learn nothing in here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hates you in this class. You gotta, you gotta mold the minds of the youth. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that clip of the dude with the long hair? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that dude sucks. Yeah, that dude that. sucks. Yeah. You think so? Glasses, yeah. right? Why? Why? Yeah, he, he just. No, I Why? That's an older clip, right? Yeah. No. But it goes I viral hate, every I year, hate, like yeah. it's brand like new. Doing this whole <laughs> thing yeah. right yeah. here. Yeah. 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 I, I You're know. failing your job. You should be molding our minds, and you're not. You don't give. You don't care about us. Shut and up. Just shut the and fuck honestly, up. that's what teachers have to go through. And that's why they like a, a counselor will wind up being on the phone with someone being like, you're fucking up. Like your counselor probably had someone like that in right before you being like, this is why like you're a bad counselor. And they're pissed off. They hate their job. So they wind up just being like, you're fucking up. My counselor no. it was the first time I ever talked to her. And she came on hot, like looking for a fight. Really? I was like, hi, I'm Harry. Uh, I, I emailed you. You told me to call you at this number. And she was like, you're going to have to be a lot more specific than that. I get about a thousand emails a day. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, oh, all right. You want me to uh, just like call you back later or like email you? Is it a bad or time? Or? Is it and possible she, like, she hates Barstool? And she was like, we're on the phone right now. You called me. I was oh like, my I am. Man, let's so, give her a call. I'm like, I am. Yeah, can so, we give her? We let's give her a call right now. Ring. There's no, no violation way. there. Why? There's no Why? way I'm calling. Cause Why? Because I, I, I have to call her. I've talked to her again this week. So let's do it right now then. No. We, we're not going to let this lady bully you. We're not going to let her make <laughs> yeah, you feel gonna, bad because no you can't I, speak Spanish and make you run out of the room. I no, have no, to no. talk to her before Thursday. She told him he wasn't going to be shit. Yeah. Well, we're calling from a live YouTube show, <laughs> honey. <laughs> <laughs> we're chasing our dreams right now. Yeah. You know I how had, hard um, it is to become a YouTuber? Mm-hmm. This is most of your kids' dream jobs. Nobody wants to become a fucking economist. Huh. <laughs> I had taken 18 credits of Spanish in college, and I was in a class to get my 19th, 20th, and 21st. Uh, were you a Spanish major? <laughs> yeah, well, I was. I was a Spaniard you need, at that point. You need 20. Yeah. You need 20 to get a minor, and I was in the class, and I dropped out of it because I was. Somebody convinced me that if I was a Spanish minor, uh, all my job interviews would be in Spanish. I love a Spanish minor, and I kind of believe. No, they it. would. They would see a Spanish minor, yeah, and they'd yeah. be like. They they would start speaking in Spanish yeah. if they could, and I didn't want that at all. Really? I don't believe. So I, I think that it's it. the kind of thing that no one would ever call you on, and you could just be uh, you just like throw a th at the end of some words, and people think you went to Barcelona for a semester. Mm-hmm. Barcelona for a semester. I, I think guess. you could have got away with it. You got bullied off the ball. It would have been nice to have that that minor in there. What'd you wind up minoring in? Nothing. I don't believe that. No one sees like a minor and they're like, this person is an expert in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> kind of know something. The about. only person that thinks that is the person with that well, minor. Yeah. Like, like I, I actually minored in Spanish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Wh- why Why even get a minor? Uh, mine was accidentally. I got a psychology minor. Yeah, I accidentally got I just an art took history. A few no, art. Like, yeah, I got an art history minor. You did? Yeah. Shut up. Tell me something about. Can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just like t- mm. accidentally took one too many classes that I had to, and now I like, yeah. have it. Like, what are the easiest classes? Yeah, Art I classes, a, and you took a bunch class. of them. Yeah. You took too many of the easiest shit. Yeah. yeah. I have my Bachelor of Fine Arts, BFA. Really? Yeah. Is that better than a BA? No. 
Or is that like ha- harder or rarer mm. than a BA? Rarer, probably. Uh, probably rarer, so it's just harder to get a job. Really? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, nobody wants it. Yeah. It's the least desirable thing. Yeah. But at least you have a degree. You do? I, do, oh, I have multiple degrees. Oh, actually, my brother, don't know. I got, got two majors, bro. <laughs> Shit. I don't, even, I don't even know if we'll ever end up getting a degree. Really? Yeah. Kiss your future goodbye. Yeah, I know. You should just take a... Maybe a bunch of writing classes. That's what I want to do. I don't, but I don't want to take like math classes and shit. I'm not going to be a mathematician. No, he's Facts. not. <laughs> the only thing. But what if you what if you write a mathematician into your screenplays? Yeah. True, what if you write true. like the next Good Will Hunting? Good Will Hunting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's actually I've actually finished all my math classes, so that would never have to happen. So you're good to go. <laughs> also, you had us for a split yeah, second. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was good. You guys thought. The original <laughs> script of uh, Good Will Hunting, they wanted it to be about a physicist, but uh, Damon and Affleck realized that math would be easier to extrapolate than physics, so yeah. uh, everybody knows yeah. that who's seen yeah. GWH. Favorite movie? Favorite movie for everybody? Is that everyone's favorite That's movie? That's everybody's favorite movie here. That's all of our yeah. favorite movies. I want to be a movie a star. So I, I want to be a movie star so I can marry a bartender with a kid. <laughs> 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 we got to finish this movie, Ben. <laughs> 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 I want to be a man that steps up for a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> Why'd you shake your head like it wasn't your favorite movie? You just haven't seen it? or It's I'm either sure. your favorite movie or you haven't seen it. Yeah. It's the Goodwill Such Constant. Good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite movie. Yeah. You really haven't seen it? I've seen it. Yeah, it's my favorite movie. Okay. Yeah. What's yours? Radio? Mine? <laughs> <laughs> attack Attack of the t- wait, No, no, no it's all good Attack of the Tomatoes It's definitely a sports It's definitely a sports it's definitely movie a sports It's not sports a sports movie. movie It's Rudy it's Miracle <laughs> It's not It's Best in Show It's uh, my favorite movie uh, That's no. not What about it's non-com what, what about drama <sighs> um, Gone Girl Girl on a Train No The Indian version of Girl no, on a Train No I don't like doing this I'm a basic bitch trending. when it comes to movies I don't, I don't like that What do you mean Shawshank. Oh Brother Where Art Thou That's a comedy my favorite movie is Dead Poets Society. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the same family as Good Will Hunting. No, that movie sucks ass. <laughs> Dead Poets Society? Nothing happens in that movie. Yeah, that just the, the, kid, the kid gets himself. capped by himself. Puck. True, a true, true comedy of errors. Uh, what about the change in perspective? What about when they stand on the desk? Yeah, stand on the Love desk. that scene. What about, oh, Captain, my captain? Oh, captain. <laughs> Why don't you... Why don't you stand on this and change your perspective, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen the stand SNL skit with the good w- with the mm-hmm. Dead Poets Society? It's my favorite SNL skit. That's your favorite SNL skit? Yeah, it's fucking That's pretty hilarious. good. It's a one joke skit. It's hilarious. It's a what funny are, joke. What's your favorite SNL skit? Uh, when they had the tiny cell phone, that shit was that shit <laughs> was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that's shit was funny. Uh, uh, probably Matt Foley. Matt Foley is my favorite. Yeah, that is a classic. Yeah. Or I Chippendales. You ever buy how many best of SNL all DVDs all of did I had you have? All of them. I had Dana Carvey. I had, I had all of them. I think I had some people's second edition. Best of Eddie Murphy was my favorite. Will Ferrell favorite had thing two, I ever right? owned. He had three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. three. three. Yeah. Ferrell had three because they're yeah. just. Have you ever seen the Will Ferrell SNL skit that got like removed from the internet where he's like plays like a frat dude who's like uh, pro fucking rape. a bunch of underage girls? Where would I see it? I don't know. I, I, I like watched it once and it's like removed from the internet. Omegle. Yeah, it's on Omega. <laughs> If you if you sometimes you can get lucky and you just stumble <laughs> upon it flying, <laughs> you just play that for people on Omegle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you guys see the new Eric Andre movie? I did watch it this weekend. I haven't seen it yet. It's mm-hmm. hysterical. Did you like really? it? I saw some people that hated it. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I like Eric Andre in Doses, so I don't know how yeah. I'd handle long no, form it Eric is Andre. So Isn't a movie called Doses. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's called Whoa. Doses. Whoa. Um, <laughs> it's called Some Doses of Eric Andre. That's meta as fuck. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Those movies are hard for me. Like um, like a Sasha Baron Cohen movie's hard for me when I start wondering what's real and what's fake. Yeah. It ruins it for me. It's all. Like, I mean, you can tell. Everything that like is funny that happens is real. You think? Mm. Yeah, 100%. They show the clips afterwards. Well, that... Of them Still coming no out, of them that. coming out and be like, "This is like this was a movie," and the people are all going crazy. There's this one scene yeah. where he's in his high school Spanish class and he just cannot pronounce the shit for the life of him, and they just laugh him out yeah, of the class. Yeah, he just yeah, so, and he's so embarrassed. But the person they're pranking stormed out of the classroom before they realized it was a prank. They carry that burden with them to this day <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of their life. And then their clothes got vacuumed off, and they were ass <laughs> naked. <with him. laughs> I would. Uh, that never happens in real life. I know, I've never had my clothes vacuumed sucked off. off. Sucked off. <laughs> but in every prank show, their clothes are always getting vacuumed <laughs> into nudity. 
Pete. I thought that movie was hysterical. Yeah, I you I didn't think it was fun. I love it. I, it I love the show, the Eric Andre show, but I don't didn't necessarily run? think he's hilarious. Watch, you gotta I think watch the, the events movie. are funny. I don't know. And, but he, the one who creates and orchestrates the events, because I don't funny. think the Eric yeah. Andre show is very funny either. But I think his like in public stuff is funny, and this was all that. Huh. Like hmm. when he goes on the train with the Fruit Loops and the bees and the mailman and all that stuff, like in on Sounds like the Eric Andre cool. show. Because he, but he just is, is inspiring Joshy Crocs. Yeah, in the world but like, yeah, a lot of people confuse that? like that. Like some of that's just being a dickhead, <laughs> and they're like, no. "This is hilarious." No, he's being a dickhead. Yeah, uh, I disagree. I Spilling think there's milk what? all over everybody. It's hilarious. He's being a dickhead. Mm-hmm. Spilling milk. Who's yeah, but it's a funny ass. Spilling video. milk all over people. Yeah, like the yeah, the, the dog like... cone with the Fruit Loops and pouring milk. <laughs> oh yeah, so, I don't, and I don't, he's just I spilling all shit, over yeah. people. Like people have to clean that up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then that's oh exactly what Joshy Crox did. Yeah, exactly. And I universally have canceled. not disagreed more with anything than that. You're a Crocs that, guy. You think that's no? I don't like him at all. But I think the same Fruit Loops video was fucking hysterical. I watch. I'll never. I've never seen it. Which one? I'd be annoyed. Yeah, but you're not there. Like, yeah, yeah, Nick. I don't like uh, unless they des- unless they're being assholes. I don't want to see <coughs> so you're, you're random a, you're people. You're an empath. Get you have yeah. too much empathy for pe- you're a big time empath. Yeah. He's a socio. Yeah. I don't he think is. I'm a sociopath. I think I think that be. video is undeniably hysterical. They're denying it. Watch it. They're denying no, no, it. it d- it's during the during the week of Holy Week. They're denying. Their maker. So you know who? Yeah. <laughs> you know who else I'm not even like a. I'm not even like a. I'm not even like a big Eric Andre fan. I just thought the movie was really funny. No, I'll watch it. What'd y'all do it's for? It's really funny. What'd y'all do for Palm Sunday? You asking me specifically? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> whoever we, whoever, whoever got an answer. We used to just have. Uh, what do you mean we, you yeah, missed Palm Sunday? No, no, no. Were you talking about the Dairy Queen one? Were you talking about the Dairy Queen thing or the religious one? Dairy Queen back in Wheeling when they ran out of bowls, they called it Palm Sunday. You just got ice cream in your hand. <laughs> we loved. It. We loved. We thought Palm there was Sunday. like a like that was like a better. How it was the fuck like, it was, do you make that into a fucking bit? So the the thing is like we <laughs> we thought it was, that, like, it was like the we got stickier, excited. The yeah. stickier your hands were, it was like a status thing. It and like, it was the, oh shit, is it? And like, is it Palm Sunday? Yeah. He's like, yeah, oh, maybe. maybe. And it was the Dairy they Queen restocked, in the mall. Brother. The entire mall was sticky. People would people would sprint <laughs> in hopes that they didn't restock. Yeah, it was like a badge of honor to have. You didn't wash your hands. No. Really? Yeah. Like, I remember I was trying to throw a coin into the fountain. It just stuck to my thumb. I just yeah. kept there the whole day. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. Felt like I was in Home Alone. <laughs> Sticky Bandit. Much like it. You have a catch. That's You get all your videos off, your one-handed catch videos off that <laughs> yeah. day. Just yeah. fucking like Odell <laughs> on Palm Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have that at, like, uh, there's, like, a... Uh, 7-Eleven, once a year, you can, like, go in with, like, Bring anything own. but mm-hmm. anything that's not a cup. Yeah. And so construction workers just go in there with, like, their construction hats. <laughs> Why do people their freak out about that? Yeah. It's just a free sl- thing that costs I, 99 cents. I would argue. <laughs> no <laughs> one's drinking, like, more than just whatever they serve. I would argue. Right. Who wants like more than 64 <laughs> ounces is, like, the oh, big container they, have, they, they came have. up on that. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to drink a hat of slushy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm, I, I want a slushy so bad I could have this bucket, this <laughs> pail, this tin pail of slushy. No one wants that much oh, slushy. Oh, does it taste like bucket or he- head sweat from your helmet? Yeah. <laughs> or like I'm gonna drink this all week. I'm gonna ration this this slushy. Oh, you're drinking a, that slushy out of a cup, pussy. <laughs> slushy gets bad so fast. Like yeah, you can't even finish a 32 ounce yeah. slushy, and it, you're already just sucking like syrup from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. People just like, like the thrill. It just turns of into a big ice. slushy. Yeah, it's disgusting. The status again. It's a status. It's status. Symbol. Status. Yeah. Thing. How big my slushy is. <laughs> <laughs> Some societies are just like based on based on that. Mm-hmm. You just having a. a tall I could only slushy. afford a small slushy. My kids though Times will have big rough. slushies. Yeah. Smaller ones should cost more. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. If you're trying to move your products, more higher. Like if you're the, that disgusting to want thirty two ounces of slushy, then yeah. yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> Brandon's gonna have point. you're gonna have generational slushy. <laughs> generational slushy. Money, yeah. That's what I'm building towards. <laughs> get up every day and work just to try and get generational mm-hmm. slushy. This cola freeze has been passed down from my pappy, <laughs> from his pappy, <laughs> his pappy before him. <laughs> oh God. Um, fuck. What I was about to say a fucking a word, a cohesive ass sentence. I lost it just thinking about slushy. They only kind of they, you only really have slushy at the movie theater anymore. Yeah. I'm not going around just. We have my gas slushy. stations, right? I don't think yeah, I've don't ever even. Yeah. 
thought about Seven getting a slushy at a gas station. I love slushies. Really? Love them. You like but slush you, how puppies? How often do you get them? Slush puppies are significantly better, yeah. harder to find. Icies are okay. And there's the I gator I don't one. Like I it thought gator slush puppy, ice sucks. I thought slush puppy was something that existed when I was a kid, but was gone. It was it extinct. Is. They ch- mm. Well, it was, yeah, slush puppy. Slush and that was puppy at the same time as Mr. Misty uh, at Dairy Queen. Those were the same thing. But then they turned to Arctic Rush. And I don't fuck with that. Are slush puppies the one that are, that are like much, like you can actually Bigger drink the whole slush? Yeah, they're like yeah. the whole slush puppy. Yeah. They were good. Those rule. They had those at the movie theater. I like for my put, town put some soft serve ice cream. Make it a flow. Dippin' Dots never really took over. You put soft dot. serve in a, f- the in a ice cream in the future Sir. never became the never ice cream. Because, because we're in the present. Uh, yeah, Dippin' Dots Moron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's it was the future when it started. No, it wasn't. Dippin' Dots were that's never That's another yeah, paradox. Yeah, it never be paradox, paradox where you go halfway yeah. towards something? Uh, Dippin' Dots were great if you were looking for some ice cream in the middle of the mall. Just stop by one of those vending machines. It burned my tongue. Yeah, yeah that, that's, 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 that's bread rich, bullshit. That's bread bullshit. That's bread bullshit. Never yeah. had that. You never had that? A no. vending machine for Dippin' Dots? That's all. That's all they I have ever them, saw them they, at. Uh, they have, I've seen them now. I've really? used one. That's the Within only the time I've ever seen I've used them. One. All right, what, so, okay, what? I apologize. We're in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're right, <laughs> now. right now. Today is tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Yesterday. Today. Yo, what the fuck, bro? That's fucking nuts, So what's yesterday? Open up that third eye. <laughs> <laughs> you need to take ayahuasca. Mm-hmm. You need to fucking slap a headband on, take some mushrooms, and fucking really, really get to the next level. I just started weed last Saturday night. I know. Let's fucking get on the escalator. <laughs> Brandon's bro. acting like he's on like the first season of drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just started the first season. I'm barely weed. in the gateway. <laughs> it's a slow burn. I just started Four weed up. last week, and I've been binging it. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Don't Owen say was anymore. Off. Owen was off the ayahuasca last night. Oh, Were you? Shit. Oh, you have oh, a pen. Have been. He, he might have been. Pen. Owen no, texted I me last night <laughs> at one twenty three and said, "You hear these people numbing outside?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I, said, I, said, I said bumping. <laughs> you said numbing. What's numbing? Well, I, I was like, bumping. "What the fuck?" In Are you talking fairness, about doing... you can hear people <laughs> numb outside. Mm-hmm. You can hear them in the process. You're saying people so, like doing nummies. People like outside people are so numb. They're numbing outside. No, I just have absolutely no tolerance for weed, so I I microdose and just. You heard and shit. Face to face with he my took one of, He took one of Sass's special gummies. Whoa, whoa! Shut spo- up. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> no, Brandon is not Sass's <laughs> chapter yet. <laughs> Some nummies. I was thinking of it was like a like a barbershop quartet, like num 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 num. I needed something though. I had like a quarter life crisis yesterday. I went on a multiple mile walk and it ended at a bookstore where I spent a hundred forty eight dollars <laughs> on books. Oh man, yeah. what'd you what? get? Catcher in the Rye. Wow. <laughs> what, yeah, just you like bought f- ten you bought copies the, of it. <laughs> he just bought the original first <laughs> pressing. First one. Are you trying to serial kill? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> he bought. He bought ten. I copies don't know. Of I, I I had nothing to do and. Um, isn't that what they always find at serial killers' houses? Like, they were all just reading Catcher in the Rye. Am really? I making yep. that up? Theme, yeah. Or, like, multiple killers that were had just had Catcher in the Rye so right was before. Um, serial killer? Yeah, Maybe. I got like nine total books. Um, I Why? Re- Wait, did you carry did them back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he passed, he passed them out <laughs> outside. <laughs> I haven't I read a book these. since um, Grapes of Wrath in 2015. I finished a book yesterday. I decided I would get back into them. John Steinbeck, right? Hey, wow. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't even read it, but. So, uh, are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing like the hard seventy-five or something like that? Okay, uh, Sass, tell him what the hard seventy-five is. I have no idea. Hard seventy-five. <laughs> work out twice, forty-five minutes a day. Stick to a diet. Read ten pages oh, a day. Oh, is that the Chet Hanks or is that David <laughs> Goggins? I don't know. It's some fucking online shit. Those are the two choices. Sounds like it's Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks is doing like the 60 day challenge or something. Is he? Yeah, yeah, but I think he was just doing, those were just pull ups. Those are just pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> Chet Hanks has his hand in everything. Yeah. He, that dude, he's a true I literally, fan. I'm on Chet Hanks' Instagram every hour and I'm like waiting for the new stories. And every and every single one, it does not hesitate to make me like no, laugh out loud. It's good. He's good. Someone, I saw someone <laughs> saying they were like, literally, like no comedian could be as funny as Chet Hanks, like, and he doesn't try at all, and he's not trying to be funny at all either. No. 
his I just want to watch it. you watch him. <laughs> yes, Start, brother. <laughs> starting so it with good. the Japan or the Jamaican accent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, internet Iowa. gone nuts. That's, that's comedic. Gold. The yeah. Biden yeah, one. He's definitely. Anyway, uh, he's like. <laughs> the, have you ever seen the? Have you ever no seen? Reason. Have you ever seen the one that happened right after the election? And he's yeah. like, he's like, so Trump won the. Uh, so he's like, so Trump didn't get, didn't win office, and he's like, psych, boss boy Biden, <laughs> <laughs> pussy clot. <laughs> oh, Boss man, Biden. <laughs> he really is, dude. White boy star. <laughs> it's the goat. It's he was like. <laughs> I'm not, what, what did he say when he was explaining white boy summary? He's like, not like so-and-so, kind of more like a me, John, John B., B. Jack, Jack Harlow, Harlow yeah. white boy summer. And everybody, every white boy was, yeah. <laughs> so I'm in that group. That I'm, I'm, I'm lumped into that. The funniest part about that is how he grouped John B. In. Like, where does John B. Isn't come John from? Isn't John B. a fictional character? Who is he's from Outer Banks. I don't know who John B. is. That's he's out, from Outer Banks. He's a 34-year-old who plays yeah. a 17-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, know is he talking Sean... about the R&B singer? No. no he's just talking about, like, a dude that, like, like, Rhea, Rhea podcast about him. Oh. Like you Jack Harlow makes sense, but John B. Like has such <laughs> like. Did you John see B. somebody Jack asked Harlow. him if it was also a Black Queen summer? Oh yeah, and he was just like. like <laughs> 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 and he, he goes, "You know me." And I'm just like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> what he's does like, this mean? He's like year round, respectfully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big respect it's, on it's him. It's Black Queen summer year round. <laughs> 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 Fuck. But uh, we're going to be, we'll be, I guess we'll be observing. I don't know. Is that nah. exclusionary? I know what's going to happen. It's going to be like the DJ Khaled effect. Hmm? I don't think he has the awareness. No, I think to he's going to be fine. I, I, he's like, he, he keeps coming down to his, no. he keeps posting about how he's got to stick with his core roots and it's uh, and it's all love and all respect. But I think he's gonna. It's gonna. He's just gonna. Be, he's it's gonna. gonna, it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna. He's gonna be a hundred stories a day yeah. for a while, and then people will gradually be like, okay. okay and also, it's gonna be the whole. He's like, the more whole rules. <laughs> more rules and regulate yeah. in August, like August fifteenth. <laughs> uh, yeah, like he's he just ruled more out fedoras. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I've got. I've got faith yeah. in him. I don't think. It, I don't think he's gonna overdo it. Because I think. I don't think people uh, look to him to be like, oh, we need this guy to be putting out funny stuff. Like, I think it's more like he does something funny, it fizzles out, and then a month later he'll. Post but I think the, the, the reception has the been so well with this. He, he's gonna he's gonna keep. He's, he has like a hundred stories up right now. Yeah, he does. Bossman Biden. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm a, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be on board, but I also think that people I'm will take board. it too far. I'm on board. I I'm following the rules. I burned all my plaid shirts last night. Threw them over. The thing is, you know, it's working. It's like hurting. It's like hurting people's. Mm -hmm. They're like fuck. What do you mean? People who are like wearing a top sider and uh Yeah, like it's plaid? destroying them, but they're gonna listen. They'll they'll fall in lockstep. I wonder how Michael Andrew You can't wear flannel in the, uh, summer, o flat. okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rule one. We're not doing uh, Canada <laughs> Gooses this summer. <laughs> no Canada Gooses this summer. The, no da ski the dad hat one I honestly will say I didn't really get. Like I'm a, I don't I don't see anything wrong with dad hats. Well, you don't make the rules. Well, you, you, guys are all wearing, you, you guys are all wearing dad hats. Fuck. Uh, our, our brand. Brand. Let's go until five. Yeah. I just don't fucking threaten me with a good time. <laughs> new merch drop. Bunch bunch of new tie-dye just came in. It's about to be tie-dye season. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Tie-dye's tie is. okay. <laughs> yeah. Tie-dye's impervious to Chet Hanks' rules and regulations. Is it? Until it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> until it isn't. <laughs> That's going to be a bad day. Bossman Biden. Fuck, I can't stop thinking of it. We should go. We should go to Jamaica. The boys should go down to Jamaica and hone our accents. Go down to Dunge River Falls. Fuck around. I want to see like that. Their club antics where they like just daggering. <laughs> yeah. Where they're just fucking on the dance floor. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Heart the the Olympics of grinding. They should have some Olympics I of grinding. I love those videos. It'll be like a girl like sailing through the air, and then some guy <laughs> catches her. That's a but that's like, a big. But like move with his it. penis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. no. It's like, he catches good. her and he's already fucking her. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all over the pants. It's There's all no over actual the pants. Yeah. Fucking. But, but you can tell there there is penetration. Like you, you but, tell like, uh, yeah, there is. You could definitely procreate. You from never the, see a, vi a guy. The, the dude one. never has like a boner though. It's always yeah. he's completely soft. They also like to slide tackle dude. Like a dude will slide tackle a girl. Imagine like being at one her. of those parties. That would be mm. so fun. 
That's probably what gave you would hate it. No, I would. You would. You would. You would. Dudes are just like people are just in the air, spin like guys like spinning girls around (laughs) on their hand like a basketball. You would Harlem Globetrotters. A girl inviting you to a club and be like, "Yeah, I'm already there," and you walk and she's getting daggered. (laughs) (laughs) She's getting tossed like one of those scoops that I forget the name of already. (laughs) Jaya lie. Jaya lie. Don't be such a prude. You walk in and Stephen Che is there. Just, just daggering my <laughs> shit. He's holding his nose before he dives. <laughs> there are Big man moves. Honestly, those are some of my favorite those videos on incredible. the internet when you see like a white dude in a, in like a Jamaican ass club, like just uh, busting it down, like daggering the fuck out of someone or just the whole crowd is like fucking sh- uh, surrounding him. There's, There's one um, there's one video of a couple just like salsa dancing and grinding that goes viral every, every time. single oh, spring. No, it's like sucks. how I'm trying to be this summer. Right. Two white white dude. Dude. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that one. But then there was this it's other. It's been every year for like six years. There's this yeah. other white dude. That, there's songs like, a diggy diggy do, a diggy diggy do. And he might, it might even be in Africa. I'm not sure if it's Jamaican, but he's just fucking crushing it. He has such a loose body. I have such fucking, such FOMO of how his body moves. Yeah. My body will never move like that. No, my no body. Way. I'm extremely I'm one big bone. Yeah. yeah. You are? Yep. Well, I have like very tight said hips. It's a miracle I'm alive. Yeah. I have tight yeah. hips, yeah. Me too. I can never dance. You're just like no, an exoskeleton. What are what are the animals that just have like one a one piece skeleton? Yeah, much like that. It's a yeah one carapace. <laughs> carapace. <laughs> carapace. Yeah. Is that what it, how it is? I don't even think I've ever heard that word before. I wasn't. I think I may, I may have made it up. Carapace. Yeah. Jared Carapace. <laughs> <laughs> he has two alter egos now. The yeah. picture that Jared, Jared Cannabis <laughs> and Jared Carapace where just he's just one bone. He's, 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 one he bone. takes the form of a dung beetle. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, somebody DM'd me correcting me. I guess uh, I got the line wrong. Walter White doesn't actually say, I am <laughs> Breaking Bad. <laughs> I am the one who breaks yeah. bad. <laughs> Jon Snow, this is the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is Jurassic Park two, <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's a lost world. <laughs> God, those are some crazy rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> this is the assassination of Jesse James by that coward Robert Ford. <laughs> Any movie would be better if you just yeah. said the title. Yeah, yeah. A movie's not complete unless you. S- Let's say the, say title. the title in it. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We've had a good show. All right. I've enjoyed it. I had a fun, fun. show. Yeah. Sass, will you come back tomorrow? Yeah, I'll see what I'm up to. Gotta He's got schedule. meetings. Check the schedule, schedule, but please post it if you are. Let let the people know if you are going to be back. All right. Because people, people love you, man. We'll it's, see. And I so do you. we. Catch you on the flip side, brothers. Yeah, don't speak for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>